And good evening. Thanks for joining us on a very busy Friday night. I'm Tom Yamas, in for David. There are several developing stories as we come on. That grim new prediction from the CDC warning that as many as 200,000 people could die from the coronavirus by Labor Day. The pandemic now part of the presidential race and casting a shadow over the election itself. The U.S. Post Office has warned at least 23 states and the District of Columbia that it can't guarantee that mail-in ballots will be delivered in time for them to be counted. This after President Trump threatened to withhold post office funding that would be used to expand mail-in voting during the pandemic. His rival Joe Biden pointing out the president himself votes by mail. And tonight, new scrutiny about the man the president has installed as postmaster general. ABC's Rachel Scott leads us off tonight. Tonight, the U.S. Postal Service warning at least 23 states that mail-in ballots might not be delivered on time and risk not getting counted. Calling deadlines in battleground states like Pennsylvania and Michigan incongruous and incompatible with their delivery standards. Voters in those swing states can request absentee ballots just a few days out from Election Day. President Trump carried both by less than 1% in 2016. But the turnaround, too tight, says the post office, already bracing for a surge in mail-in ballots during the pandemic. Today, New Jersey announcing they'll send mail-in ballots to all of its 6.2 million residents. Today, we are announcing that the November 3rd general election will be held overwhelmingly through vo vote by mail. Every vote should be safe, every vote should be secure, and every vote should count. That shouldn't be controversial. The president launching a campaign against mail-in voting, pushing baseless claims about voter fraud. This election will be the most rigged election in history if that happens. Threatening to withhold funding from the post office. Now, if we don't make a deal, that means they don't get the money. That means they can't have universal mail-in voting. They just can't have it. Today, he doubled down on that threat, tying it to his coronavirus relief package. Would you be willing to accept the $25 billion for the Postal Service, including the $3.5 billion to sure, general they give us what we want? And it's not what I want, it's what the American people want. Former President Barack Obama accusing the Trump administration of being more concerned with suppressing the vote than suppressing a virus. What we've never seen before is a president say, I'm going to try to actively kneecap the Postal Service <laughs> to encourage voting, and I will be explicit about the reason I'm doing it. Today, the president's rival Joe Biden tweeting, voting by mail is safe and secure. Take it from the president, who just requested his mail-in ballot for the Florida primary on Tuesday. All right, Rachel Scott is in New Jersey traveling with the president tonight. And Rachel, the newly appointed Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, a top GOP donor, has made some changes recently. And today we learned the post office's inspector general is looking into those moves. That's exactly right, Tom. He has been under fire for putting in place some cost-cutting measures that critics say will only delay or slow down mail delivery ahead of what is expected to be a very busy mail-in voting season. And tonight, the Inspector General for the U.S. Postal Service confirms to ABC News that they are looking into those policy changes. Tom? Rachel Scott leading us off with that new reporting tonight. Rachel, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.